Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and can I say it's seriously baffling how horrible one can play. I mean, it's just crazy baffling how horrible one can play, and in today's game, I played horrible, and you're about to see that. Let's get into it. Okay, can I start by saying, just guess how many times I blundered. Blundered six times. I was not in my element in this game. It's crazy. This game goes on for 76 moves. Probably like the half, half of the moves were probably in the last few seconds. Yes. Oh, wow. Wild. That battle could have ended worse. Good draw is what my coach said to me. Is what the coach said to me. Yeah, I got 64.1 accuracy, which is... Absolutely not what I want to be getting. Oh my gosh, it was just terrible. If you look at the graph, it's up and down and up and down. Oh, it's terrible. Okay, so we start with e4, b6, and then we have knight f3, g6, standard opening. We're playing lots of good moves, but not great moves. I was so happy that he was playing like this so I could just get developing. And yeah, then finally, his book moves. The Fienkettos, the bishop, by placing it on a powerful diagonal. Yes, he, he, oh dear, my mouse is not working well today. He put his bishop and Fienkettos. So this is called the modern defense, Mongrindian defense variation. Okay, and master games, and then the next thing that would happen is C3. Um, C3 would happen to support that pawn. Yeah. But I was like, no, I don't need C3. Of course, I didn't see the master games, the variations I could play. But I just saw that I could play this because it's this um, D4 pawn is protected by the knight. So, yeah, that's what I played. Then I played, then he played bishop B7, knight C3, A6, G5, standard opening stuff, standard opening back, bishop with tempo, 1 billion, trillion, quadrillion times, bishop out, Okay, nice. This kicks an opposing piece, but this gives me an, um, a 0.6 advantage. So giving me half a piece advantage, positional wise, positionally wise, is not a good move for him, especially when you're trying to play like this. So I move my knight back. He defends the attacked piece because when my knight was there when I moved back, it was discovered attack on the pawn. Okay, yeah. So he takes that in the corner, and I'm like, oh. Gosh, it's one of these people that just play like that. So Rook G1. No, it, when I say it's one of these people, I'm saying it's one of these people that that come in here with with really no attack. Yes, I'm, I'm seeing, yeah, of course, there's an attack on the Rook. But is it really an actual attack if I can just move the Rook? Okay, I just confused myself there. Okay. Okay, so next, Rook G1 back yes tempo and i developed it or you could say this actually made me worse because now i couldn't castle that way so now i have to wait for the queen to go out somewhere to be able to castle yeah and then i mistaked because now my piece is undefended but like what's it not undefended from okay well first things first that we have this attacking here and the most beautiful thing in the world on passant is he fine on Passan? No, but he takes with the queen. And now he has one point of positional advantage. And I was like, because I wanted him to take on Passan. Because I was, so, okay, I remember what I was thinking. I was thinking, if he takes on Passan, I can go rook up and take the bishop. Yes, this is a very great move of mine. Yeah, we're playing five-minute blitz, so we only get a few seconds to think about this, yes, but I, I didn't really contemplate the decision. Queen's going to come down and take that. I was just thinking, en passant, oh my gosh, he's so trash at this game. I'll go take up and take his bishop. Actually, he's not trash at this game. We, I won't tell you the result at the end, but he's not trash at this game is what I will tell you. Or we're both trash at this game. You know, who knows? He takes, oh my gosh, another mis opportunity gone out the window. Four points of positional advantage towards him. So basically, he has six points of advantage. Two points material-wise and four points positional-wise. 
Yes, I missed the opportunity to centralize my knight, which gives me more controls of the center squares. What I should have played is knight out to e6, which gives me dominant attack, dominant force on all these squares, which is positionally very powerful. Very, very powerful. Okay, yeah, he makes an inaccuracy because, again, this he could literally have just developed his knight he could have developed his, his knight. I mean, what's the purpose of that anyways? I'm going to find a way to defend it. Uh-huh. I thought, yes, watch this. Backwards protection. I'm so cool. I'm so cool. Yeah, actually, a better move for me to have done would have been to just move it up one. Because then I could also be attacking the pawn. And he had on Passan again. On Passan again. See? On Passan, I would take right here. Yeah. Yeah. And then I could go up with the rook. I could go up with the rook down there. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Queen. There. Not a good move. Not best. Not terrible move. But not a good move. That relinquishes some of your, in a bad way, relinquishes some of your positional advantage. Okay. Then we, and for this next part of the game, we're playing well until he blunders. Okay. Yeah. He, he blunders bad. He's, he blundered bad. Um, because of rook takes g7. Yeah. I was like, yes, finally my opportunity arose. He did it. I was so happy. So like, I was like this now when it was in, when it was in this position on move 17, I was like, I'm going to take I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the bishop. He's gonna take back, and I can take his bishop. Boom, boom, boom. This bishop was mine for the taking. Okay. Yeah, now he plays there. But yeah, like, why would you do that? I mean, a better move for him to would have been to play all the way to c6. Because when he plays like here, when he plays this move, um, he leaves a piece undefended. Yeah, he he leaves a piece undefended. Now, that's what the engine says, but I don't really see it. Oh, because of, yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. Oh, because, but if I took on F, it says taking on F3. But if, if he moved the knight out, that'd still be losing. Sorry, this is just confusing. Maybe it wanted, no, because that, nah. You guys, you're suffering with me. Thank you guys very much. So basically, I have 1.5 advantage because I have 3.5 positional advantage while he has a 2-point advantage uh, material-wise. So yeah, now we're just smooth coasting, few inaccuracies here and there. Okay, mistake, unfortunate error on Pazan. For the third time in the game on Pazan, the backstabbing move you go back and <clears throat> I love it. I love it because you're supposed to kill that way, but when you en passant, you go back and then kill like that. Love it. Just love it. Just love it. Yeah, I I did the best move. I was tempting to urge to go en passant, like en passant, I see you en passant. But no, I attacked his queen, creating some counterplay. And now the game is there for me. I'm winning the game. I'm supposed to win this game. I have 10 points Positional advantage. We, so basically, I have overall nine. I have to win this game. There is nothing I can do to make me lose this game. I've got it in the bag. Because of e6, takes a8, f8, and g5. I got the rook. I will win this game. Okay, that's, yeah, that's what should have happened. And yeah, he moved back, and I was like, yes, I... Because here's the thing. When I, when I moved my pawn there... Instead of taking en passant, it would have it would have blocked. Oh my gosh, my mouse! It would have blocked the way for my queen. And I've had I've had um, me taking that rook on for probably like five moves. So yes, finally I took it. But wait a second, does that say it's a good move, not a great move? Wait a second, Stockfish, you're killing me, bro. What do you want? What are you What are you doing to me, Stockfish? You're saying that's a good move. What did you want from me? You wanted me to take the pawn? I, he has a full rook right there. And he wants me to take the pawn? Are you joking, Stockfish? I guess Stockfish not joking. 
This move puts the piece on a safer square, as it's saying. Wait a second. Because if I would have attacked in the rook, he's out there. And then I come here with my queen. It's not safe. Because then I can't go back on the diagonal. Okay. Still confusing. Stockfish, you're letting me down. I, I found rook takes. But he gives me 8.6. Thank you, Stockfish. Thank you very much. Wow, very affirm affirmative of you. Okay, knight c6, queen d8. I took the queen because when you have a positional advantage and you have a material advantage, you are going to want to trade down your pieces. Because let's see, if I have a million, if I have a million dollars and this guy right beside me has 999,995, we're basically millionaires. We only have a $5 difference. We're basically the same. But if you shrink it all the way down to where I have $5 and he has $0, now that's a big gap. So that's basically why you want to trade down your pieces like that. Okay, so yes, he takes an equal trade. But yeah, equal trade. And now, and now I have 12 points advantage, a 12-point advantage. Okay, let's see. He's now attacking my rook. Good move from him. F6. Amazing. Inaccuracy. Oh, my gosh. So, yes, here's the thing. He took my rook after. But do you want to know how long I spent on this? Ten whole seconds. I spent ten whole seconds pondering. So, when I was sitting here playing this game, I was like, come on. How can I check him and get my rook to safety? I know my rook is hanging. But let's go here because I'm checking him. I never in a million years thought that he was going to take my rook. It just never crossed my mind. I was like, rook, safe. Rook is safe. There you go. Now let's check him. But yes, I had an error in my head. Somewhere we swerved off the wrong path. And now the game is still in my favor, though. I had 7.5 advantage in my favor. He takes the rook. Okay. Oh, my God. Gosh, it's paining me so bad. This is paining me. Wow. We're now equal. Equal. Zero, 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 zero point four three. Oh, okay. Wow, this is such a bummer. Okay, he, yes, it's back on me again. Oh, no. No, okay, yeah. A better move for, would have been for me to attack because then I have this lined up right here. Threatening to win material, but ah, oh, pains me. It pains me so much. He comes out here. Okay, um, I take the only thing I can take a pawn to advantage for me. Okay, and this I was like, there's something wrong here. I knew I was in my head. I was thinking he did something wrong. I knew he did something wrong. I was like, why? This can't be right. In my head, I was actually thinking Stockfish is doing something wrong, and Stockfish agrees with me. Thank you. Okay, yeah, the amount of good moves that I've played in, guess how many good moves you're playing. Usually you play good moves in the opening when you do different variations and stuff, but I've, there were 21 good moves this game. 21 good moves, just good moves. Like, wow. Okay, yeah. Um, do you want, want to see something here? A better move would have been for me to play there. Yeah, because it's protected, but I was just like, gosh, I need, what I was thinking is, how can I blunder this bad? Oh my gosh, all my advantage is gone. I have to take a piece back. Yeah, not the, not the, not the strongest thing for me. Okay, yes, Rook. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Forking, forking. I blundered a fork. Between the bishop and the king. Oh, that's terrible. This, unfortunately, this allows my pieces to get forked. Oh, you're, you're, you're in with the pain with me. I'm telling you, this was one of the most painful experiences I had. Okay, takes. Okay, now he has the advantage. He's going to win. And, yeah, there. Okay, good move. Uh-huh. Now, I... Now, this is when I looked at my clock, and I was like, dang, I have a minute down. I'm a minute down. I have to hurry fast. I'm a whole minute down. 
So yeah, this is when I was like, I have to hurry fast. Okay, so yes. Um, now it was in this position that I almost started crying. Not in the game, but when I ran it through, I get, I had a completely winning position. And uh, it's gone. It's gone now. Whew. So bad. Like, it's gone. I, I, was, I was so upset. I didn't actually cry, you know, but, like, it felt like crying. Okay, good move. Good move. Like, a good move. Okay, G another good move. When do you see this many good moves in the game? It's like we're playing so good, but it's not good. F5, H6 is a mistake. Give me some advantage back. Yes, I found the free pawn. Yes, now I can get my advantage back and take it back. Now, when I saw that he got his rook back, I was like, there's still hope for me in this game. Because we're now we have one. There we go. So if you look at the analytics left, you guys can't see it. You can't see the analytic graph, but it's up and down. That's why the coach said this is a wild game. Okay, night before inaccuracy. So here's where the inaccuracy starts creeping in. He blunders. Okay, starting right here. The next five moves from both of us are terrible. Blunder. Okay, not that move though. Back. Blunder. The reason this is a blunder is watch this. This game is still close to equal, but I lost my advantage. The reason I lost my advantage is I can't show you the reason, but this would have been a better move for me to do. Okay, where is it? Right, oh, absolutely terrible. Now, Stockfish is not showing me why. It's not giving me an engine line. It's not giving me an engine line for it. That's very odd. Thanks, Stockfish, for letting me down. Okay, there you go an overlooked an opportunity a best thing for me to have done would have been to move right there it gives me out of good trouble for right now okay yes but yes oh so many inaccuracies it's like this whole game i was like inaccuracy good inaccuracy good inaccuracy it's like i can't play good this is why i'm telling you this is one of probably the worst game i've had in a long time he does an inaccuracy the reason this is an accuracy is because of b3 now i have control over this open file and now Guess what's trapped? His knight, his knight can't go anywhere. His knight can't go there or there. Except it can't go there, though. But knight on the rim is dim. Even if it's this rim, it's still dim. Okay. Yes. And now I have 30 seconds. He has a minute. So I also looked at the clock again. But yeah. Okay, but I didn't play that. So A3, good move. Good move, by the way. Good. Doesn't feel like good, but it says good. Yes, now night on the room is dim. I take the pawn. More another blunder. Great strong play. Good move. Oh my gosh. The amount of inaccuracies and good moves is killing me. Good move. Good move. Best move, finally. Inaccuracy. There we go. I'm so close to winning. But it's in this position. I was like, woohoo, I'm winning. And I took two seconds to go yes. But then I looked at the clock and it says I have 22 seconds left and he has 46 seconds left. And I was like, dang. So I was moving fast. There you go, inaccuracy. So this is where the rest of the game goes. Watch this. Guess how long it took? 0.4 of a second. There you go. I was in such a time scramble that I thought he was gonna, that, ugh. So I just kept moving. Oh, and I had mate in four. Because here's the thing, we're so low on the clock now. It doesn't matter if I have a billion queens on the board. I'm we're gonna draw. The do you wanna see the checkmate in four? It's takes f seven, c five, c seven, b five, c three, a six, and then b six. Checkmate. But yeah, I did not see that. Oh, miss win. Oh, this was terrible. And it was at this point I was like, oh gosh, I hung my queen for two moves. I actually realized that. Okay, so yes. Now I just keep moving back and forth. Wow, wow, wow. All I had to do was move right there. And basically, I had the game in the bag. If I had more time, but I didn't. Because, and then boom. Ah! Ah! 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, I played this. He took. Uh huh. Yes, right there. The analysis. I don't know why. There should be a checkmate. If I run it through a higher depth, it's going to tell me the amount of mates, I, the amount of moves I need to mate. But yeah, rook f3. So now I'm just. I have five seconds. So like, I'm scrambling back and forth. And, I, and I'm the white king. Look, I'm the white king. It looks like I'm the black king, but I'm actually the white king. And yes. Oh, it devastating. Look, I went on time. I went on time. He had 0 0.2 seconds, and I had 1.7 seconds. I got up off my chair and was like, yes, yes. I went back to the board. Timeout. Draw by timeout. But I'm like, by timeout, what do you mean? I beat him by a second. Versus insufficient material. Okay. Is that really a thing? I didn't know that was a thing. It doesn't matter if, if he has mate and nine, but it'll be a draw. I thought I, would, I won because of time. I didn't know. Okay. Well, we shared a lot of pain on this journey. We shared a lot of pain. Thank, thank you guys very, very much for sharing, for going with me through this terrible, terrible journey. Okay, this is probably one of the worst games I've played in a very, very long time. Have a very great day. Bye.